So we're now ready to state Stokes' theorem. Um, and let's just uh, talk about why we have Stokes' theorem. So let's go back to Green's theorem, um, because that's a pretty similar format theorem. It says some integral is some other integral. And the premise of Green's theorem was that line integrals, um, line integrals are too hard. Uh, would rather do, would rather integrate over regions in the xy plane. That was pretty easy. We knew how to do that in Math 126. Line integrals are sometimes fine, but can be hard. So you might need Green's theorem to do that. Okay, Stokes' theorem says um, surface integrals uh, of vector fields are too hard. Again, we can sometimes do them. Um, we did an example in the previous video, but they might be too hard. Um, let's do, uh, or would rather do line integrals. More stuff can go wrong with surface integrals over vector fields. Okay, so uh, before we can state Stokes' theorem, uh, we need to talk about one thing, and that is uh, the orientation of the boundary. Because remember, for for a curve, um, if, uh, let's actually go in the xy plane. If we had a curve in the xy plane, if we integrate this way and do the line integral this way, um, we get a different answer than if we had, uh, I don't know if we can draw the exact same curve. Um, we'll pretend that's the exact same curve if we did the line integral the other way, right? We would get a negative. So if we're going to be converting surfaces to line integrals, we need to know what direction to go in. Um, okay, so we're deciding a direction for the surface anyways. So let's just look at this um, half sphere, right? So let's say we want uh, the normal vectors for the half sphere to be pointing out. Um, then we just use the right-hand rule. So we put our thumb along these normal vectors, and then our fingers are going to curl in the direction that we want the boundary to go in. So uh, right-hand rule. Um, and then we call this, so that's S. Here's the boundary of S. And then uh, these arrows tell us the positive orientation for the boundary. Okay, um, then we can state Stokes' theorem. It says that if you have a surface S um, that is piecewise smooth and oriented, in particular, orientable, so it can't be a Mobius strip. Um, piecewise smooth, so like a sphere is completely smooth. Um, here's something that's piecewise smooth. Let's say we have a cube. Definitely all these planes are smooth, but it's not smooth at the edges. But we can cut it up into pieces that are smooth, so that's good enough. So that'll be fine for Stokes' theorem. And then let's say the boundary of S equals C, and C is going to be simple. Simple means doesn't cross itself may or may not have glossed over this in a previous lecture. Simple means doesn't cross itself, so the boundary can't be some weird figure eight curve that crosses itself. Uh, closed, so uh, meaning starts and ends in the same place. Um, the boundary also has to be piecewise smooth. It is possible to have a not piecewise smooth boundary and a piecewise smooth surface if you study weird enough things. Um, and then uh, we're going to positively orient the boundary, meaning we're going to choose the direction to go along according to the right-hand rule. Okay, um, if all those things are true, then uh, the integral over some surface of the curl of a vector field. So in order to apply Stokes' theorem, the vector field has to be the curl of another vector field. You can't just apply it to any vector field. Um, integrated vector integrated over the surface is the same as the line integral of the vector field now. Um, so we have to undo the curl integrated over C, where C is the boundary of S and we choose the orientation based on the right-hand rule. Okay, 
So um, now you can take as long as your vector field is the curl of another vector field, which is a pretty strong condition. Um, you can take this surface integral of a vector field and convert it to a line integral. A couple immediate fun consequences of this. One, um, if, uh, if S is closed, meaning it's a sphere or a cube, um, so not not this half sphere, because that has a boundary, but like a sphere doesn't have a boundary. So if S is closed, then the flux of the curl of a function, of the curl of a vector field, is zero. Because like the boundary is empty, so the integral over an empty thing is zero. Um, so that's cool. Um, and that talks a little bit about how um, that's that's related to what we said about uh, divergence of curl of f has to be zero because um, that's how much it's going away from itself. If you have like flux through a sphere, um, basically like curl has to go in one direction. So whatever's going in has to come out the other way. Um, in order for a surface integral of a vector field to not be zero, we would need something like that. Um, but that's not the curl of, of any vector field because divergence of curl has to be zero. Um, okay, so that's uh, one cool property. And then another thing is if um, C lies in the XY plane, then we can add another equality. We can apply Green's theorem now. So then we can do start with the curl of a vector field integrated over any weird surface as long as its boundary lies in the XY plane. Now we're equipped to use Green's theorem. We can actually integrate over D, where C is also the boundary of D. Um, and then Green's theorem says we can do uh, qx minus py, where, where f is now demoted to two dimensions because c lies in the xy plane, uh, qy dA. So what does that mean? That means if you have, um, let's say you're in three space and you have a unit circle in the xy plane and then you have this like crazy surface whose boundary is the unit circle. It can be it can be any crazy thing up here. Okay, and then we're trying to uh, integrate a vector field that's a curl of another vector field. Um, well, Stokes' theorem says that integral is the same as the integral of the vector field along the unit circle in the xy plane. And then Green's theorem says, well, that's the same as the integral inside the unit circle of qx minus py. So you can start with this crazy surface integral, and like we might not even be able to parameterize the surface. That's often the problem with surface integrals, and get to just integrating inside the unit circle, which can be super easy. So that's fun.